Hello everyone, welcome back to the second channel. This is a very special video. The title is correct. The CEO of Bang Energy does appear to have been on an episode of Say Yes to the Dress. So this is some very special content we're going to be watching today. I just watched like the very beginning of this video before I hit record and it looks like it's going to be some pretty good content. So I do have some sparkling water, of course, because this is my second channel where I like to get wacky and goofy and drink a little bit of a drink a sweet little sparkling beverage. So it's kind of a big bottle. But I'm going to pop it open and I'm just going to drink straight out of it. Jesus Christ, dude. No! Uh, <laughs> God damn it, dude. Wet my pants. That makes it sound like I peed my pants. My pants are wet now. I didn't get so scared of the fizzing that I actually, that I also wet my pants. One thing's for sure, this shit is sparkling. <laughs> All right, that's pretty good. Kind of covered in sparkling water now, though. I should have just gotten a bang for this video. I should have chugged a bang while reacting to this Say Yes to the Dress episode. It doesn't actually say that this is the CEO of Bang Energy, but I'm almost positive it is. It's been a little while since I looked at this dude, since I made that video. Sometimes after I make a video, I like forget about it right away. I forget everything that I said in the video. So, oh yeah, he always wears this bang chain. Yeah, that's definitely him. All right, let's watch this shit. Before the store opens, Lori and Monty give a lesson on dealing with power struggles on the runway. Today, I want to talk about brides that give way too much power power to other people. Uh-oh. The intro for this video is already not looking good for the Bang CEO. I should have mentioned the title also does not look good for this guy. Bride's fiance gets booted out of shop for being too harsh. What is he gonna say? Okay, how about this dress? Honey, do you like this dress? No, and I don't want to marry you anymore. Okay, I think this one's kind of good. It makes me look like a princess, don't you think? Fuck you! They're like, whoa, this guy is being a little bit harsh. They're strong back there in the fitting room. Yeah. They feel the power. Ooh. And that works until they get out here. <laughs> you try to encourage them to remember it's their day and to make sure she doesn't let other people influence her. It boils down to who's wearing the dress. Right. right? And that's what you have to reiterate with her. Who is going to be wearing this dress? Is it her? Or is it the CEO of Bang Energy? Is he going to be wearing the dress? In that case, he should get some say over it. No, we all know this woman is going to be wearing like the most beautiful dress of all time that's worth like $20,000. And then the Bang CEO is going to be dressed like a middle schooler. This is what he's going to wear to his wedding. No tie, just a bang chain. That's something for consultant Flo to consider as she greets a bride used to taking a back seat. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hi. Hi. I'm Flo. And who's the bride? Me. My name is Meg Liz Miller. I'm 26 years old. I'm older than the bang CEO's wife. And how old is he? I thought he was like 50. Bang CEO. Who is the CEO of Bang? Jack Jackawak. It uh, looks like when you type Jackawak age, it also says Jackawak wife age. Like people are also kind of like, huh? He's 59. When I say that this dude is literally old enough to be her father, I'm not even exaggerating. Because my dad is turning 59 this year, and my sister is 25. So this dude is literally old enough to be her dad. I mean, you know, they're consenting adults, presumably, so I'm not gonna bash them. It's just kind of interesting. I'm older than this woman. I am in the uh, Bang CEO's target age range, apparently. I did not know that. I better watch out. He might be coming to scoop me up pretty soon. 26 years old, and I live in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. So who do you have with you? My mother, my grandmother, my sister, my cousin, my best friend, my fiance's friend, Gina Marie, and my fiance, Jack. All normal people to bring to the dress trying on, except the fiance. That is not very typical, is it? I didn't go look at Laura's dress until our wedding day. I think you usually don't have the fiance in the room. And I think we're about to find out why, honestly. Probably because the fiance is going to try to say some dumb shit. It is a very traditional thing, like, oh, the woman shouldn't be seen in her wedding dress until wedding day but if it's to prevent the fiance from saying some dumb shit then i can kind of get behind it i'm like okay it is her dress she should be allowed to pick out the dress but then you know that means that man gets to pick out the tux also so care for what you wish for you get to wear whatever dress you want he gets to wear this bang shorts bang shirt bang shoes bang chain bang wedding can you imagine him walking down the aisle in this that'd be epic this music is playing while he's walking down the aisle Fiance Jack. Uh oh. <laughs> My fiance is Jack Owak. We're wildly entertaining when we get together. Oh We're both shit! Little Sexy kids at music heart. playing. It's definitely the man that God put on this earth for me. He did put him on this earth for me like 30 years before I was born, but he knew what he was doing. I think I would like to see myself in a mermaid style dress. I would like something very flirty, maybe on the edge of sexy. I just, um, I'm more uh, about being classy. 
definitely want to be covered up up here. I came here today to make sure she got the right dress. The right dress for you though, right? What the fuck did he just say? She was like, I kind of want a sexy dress. And he's like, let's keep it classy. I'm sorry. Says the guy like constantly surrounded by models in bikinis. Whoa, honey. We, we do not want you scantily clad. You know what I think about scantily clad women? You know, like the women I surround myself with constantly? You don't want to be one of them. You don't want to be one of the women that I keep around me at all times. You're going to want to dress like someone who wants to stay far away from me, honey. I like that she said she wants a mermaid style dress. I guess I don't really know what that means. I just pictured like she's a straight up mermaid. Yeah, my fiance thought it would be kind of a fun idea if like I, it, during the reception, I was in sort of like a giant aquarium full of bang energy and I'm just sort of like swimming around in there. Kind of like putting my face up against the glass, like banging on the glass, just kind of behind there and then everyone else is having fun at the reception. That's kind of what we were thinking. Most of Megan's clothes, like her jeans today, her shoes, everything, I dressed her in. <laughs> Evil laugh. Yeah, I pretty much dressed her in everything she's wearing today. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm controlling this whole woman's life. I wasn't gonna say anything before I knew that the guy is dressing this woman, but she is kind of dressed like a 50 year old. And I didn't want to say anything before because I didn't want to like diss this woman's clothing like sense because we're the same age. Definitely makes sense now that I know that this 60 year old man has been dressing her. He's my fiance and I want to make him very happy. So I'm open to trying on any different style. Okay. What's your budget? I'm prepared to pay whatever it takes to get that, you know, that magical moment. Okay, let's have some fun. I feel like that was probably just edited in that little moment where he's like, huh? This dude is not afraid to ball out. If there's one thing that he is not afraid to do, it's spend like way too much money on everything. Look at this house they live in. At least I think this is their house. Yeah, it's a it's a Thanksgiving post. So you got to imagine it is. This house looks like a hotel. If this dude lives in like a $7 million mansion and then it's like, uh, your dress budget is $1,000. That'd be pretty fucked up. This dude probably spends $1,000 a day on like women in leggings to stand around him. And then he's like, mm, and for you to dress however you want on the most magical day of your life. Let's say $20, I don't know. As Flo and the group hit the racks. We have some cool different mermaid looks here. It quickly becomes obvious who's looking to take charge. I'm not feeling it. I want you to try this one. I hate blades. But I think we might know best though. I didn't know what I liked, what I didn't like. I was really just looking at Jack. Okay, well, right now it kind of sounds like she's cool with him being there. I mean, like, she's like, I didn't really know what to do. I'm just looking at him. So it sounds like he, she's kind of like okay with him taking charge in this moment. Maybe she's just kind of used to it after this dude has like dressed her for the past however long they've been together. But in this moment, it doesn't seem to be a problem. It seems like he's just sort of taking charge and she's like, whatever you say. Is it gonna have enough room here in the chest area though? The last time I looked, this store wasn't named Brottles by Jack. Since the groom already vetoed the bride's choice of mermaid, Flo puts her in a sexy, flirty gown she hopes will do the trick. Uh-oh, no, not sexy and flirty, dude. You, we saw what Jack thought about sexy and flirty. Bring this woman out in a box so that we can't see her. Jack would like that, I think. Turn around. Okay. Hmm. Showing a little skin down there. Down there? Showing a little skin down there. There's like a big cutout around my butt. Just a little bit of skin. I love this dress, but what is Jack gonna think? Oh, wow. Wow. Is that mine? What's he gonna think? I wanna know what Jack thinks about this dress. Is this say yes to the dress or say yes to the breast? <gasps> Dude, <laughs> how long do you think he was thinking of that joke? There's no way he came up with that on the fly. There's absolutely no way. He knew she was gonna come out in some sort of like revealing dress. He's been planning that. Is this say yes to the dress or say yes to the slut? Is this say yes to the slut? Jeez, dude, calm down. Yeah, we need to pull that top up. This dress because it's cut low, it's tacky and unacceptable. Dude, I get... Tacky and unacceptable, dude. I, I don't want to keep pulling up your Instagram, man, but come on. You want to talk about tacky and unacceptable? Is that really what you want to do right now? It's just a little bit tacky. Where's like the giant gold chain and like the shiny blazer with like the really strange pattern on it? And where's all the bang logos? I don't know. It's just a little tacky to me. Tell us an ideal dress. You need to speak with my fiance about that. This has to be, you know, classic. If all we've got to go on is what Jack wants, then I guess we're gonna have to start there. We're gonna put Meg Liz in a sophisticated sheath gown with embroidered detail. All right, so turn around. Ooh. 
He's clearly not gonna like this dress either, right? I mean, there's no way. They're like, well, okay, so he didn't like that one, and he came up with a clever joke about your boobs. Let's see what happens if we put you in an even more revealing dress. This is nice. You like this one? Oh, yeah. I feel beautiful. Oh, no. I feel beautiful. Say yes to the slut! That's what's about to happen. I just feel like the most beautiful girl in the world. I'm sorry, is this a wedding or a breasting? Is it a wedding or a booby? Are you gonna say I do or my boo? Oh, that's pretty. Wow. Oh, look at him, dude. You can already tell. Everyone's smiling. Wow, look at that. Beautiful. Anger. This is him calculating his next joke. <laughs> Are we on a reality TV show or a reality TV ho? Now tell me how you feel about this. I would say like 8.5. Whoa. I really like this one. Scale from one to 10. What's it gonna be? It owes points. Wow, I thought I had some claws. Well, this fiance, he's making me look like a kitten. Kittens still have claws, so. Wow, I thought I had claws, but this guy, he also has claws, and so I also still do. This guy cannot say how he feels about a dress without making it into some kind of joke. Scale from one to 10, it owes points. Everyone like laughs at his joke. He's like, yeah, I guess this. <laughs> This kind of is about me, isn't it? What can I say? He's a natural entertainer, all right? That's why Bang is so popular. It's because of him. I honestly feel a little bit lost now because now I don't really know what I want. If Meg Liz keeps letting this fiance change her mind, she'll be walking out of here with nothing but her fiance. Now I don't really know what I want. I'm about getting a migraine right now. The bride needs a pep talk and her fiance needs to hear it too. My word of advice here. You gotta stand up for yourself and figure out what you want. You're gonna be the one looking at these pictures 20 years from now. I agree with her, but I think they'll both be looking at the pictures 20 years from now. It's not like I only look at pictures of me from my wedding and Laura only looks at pictures of her. I still agree, it's your wedding. You should wear the dress that you like. Lori made me realize I really need to take this appointment back. Maybe we should start looking for the dress that I knew I wanted, the mermaid style. Why do you look so scared? We should look at the mermaid style. No, but... Please, I'm scared of fish. Finally, the bride is shopping for herself. Okay. Okay, what do we got now? We have a plan. We found her a beautiful mermaid gown with a sweetheart neckline and just enough bling to make a statement. I'm curious to see what this mermaid dress is gonna look like. I don't even know what that style means. Actually, I think I do. Does that just mean like the legs are kind of like more tight, like a mermaid fin and she's gonna have gills? I think that's what it's gonna be. And I absolutely love the mermaid sound. Okay, we found a dress she loves, but now we need to keep the fiance from throwing a Tootsie Roll in the punch bowl. Well, I mean, I'm glad that she likes this dress. I'm curious to see where it goes now, because she literally just said, like, this is perfect. This is exactly what I want. So if he's not into this, I mean, like, you can boot him out of the shop for being too harsh, but, like, he's still going to show up to the wedding and see the dress. It's not like after he leaves, they're going to pick a dress that he likes. So you're still going to have to deal with him at some point. I mean, sure, kick him out. I mean, go for it. Look at this face. Oh, look at that smile. He's got to go. He's gotta go. He's gotta we go. can't show him this one. I had a strong feeling that this dress might be my dress, and I realized that I do not want my fiance to change my mind. You want me to kick him out? Yes, please. Kick him out. Yeah. Are y'all ready to see the next dress? Yes. yes. Okay, Jack, honey. I got some bad news. What's that? Meg absolutely, positively loves this dress. So you gotta go. It's just so funny that they're gonna kick him out. It's like, if she's gonna pick the dress, she's gonna pick the dress and he's gonna see it. I think like what would really fix the issue is just like, let him give his opinion, but don't let it sway you. That's really what they should be saying. But I guess if the only way that she can not let her, his opinion sway her is by kicking him out. And I guess that's what they gotta do, shoot. Kinda wanting to refuse to go, but you know, Lori's running the show. That walk, dude, he looks lost. <laughs> Just say yes to the dress or say no to the fiance being in the show. No one's laughing because I'm outside alone. That's weird. It's her world. I'm just visiting. The veil, the jewelry, everything is perfect. I'm going to say yes to this dress. <laughs> she did it! Yes, 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 yes. I look unbelievable and i totally see myself walking down the aisle and marrying jack i totally see myself inheriting 50 percent of the bang energy kingdom in this dress i'm a mermaid and i'm ready to swim in the bang bucks Yay!
It's five months later, and Meg Liz is ready to marry her man. So I was kind of curious. I was like, I wonder if they're gonna show the wedding because I was kind of worried that like he would find out about the dress or like see it beforehand and somehow talk her out of it. But it looks like she's made it all the way to the wedding and he hasn't thrown enough of a fit. And so she's gonna go through with it. It's kind of a creepy freeze frame. Her eyelids are like semi-transparent. Is this a lizard person? What's going on here? It makes me feel like a beautiful bride. I am really excited to see Jack's face when I come down the aisle. I am super excited to see Megan her dress. I've been waiting for this moment for a long, long time. Well, he actually looks like fairly presentable, I think. Suit might be a little bit big. I'm no fashion expert, guys. Looks like a tuxedo to me. I don't think I've ever seen a collar like that before. I think the whole thing is supposed to be bent over the tie, not just the little tip like that. But other than that, it looks pretty normal. I'm Meg. I'm Meg. Take you, Jack. Take you, Jack. They didn't show his reaction. They're supposed to show the shot of him like crying or whatever, seeing his beautiful bride coming down the way. Maybe they cut it out because he made another dumb joke. You may kiss the bride. <laughs> Look at that. It all worked out after so all. I'm happy to be Mrs. Jack Owak. He's so perfect. She picked the right dress. Beautiful, classy. She rocked it. Jack, we do know that you're just saying that, but it's nice of you to pretend on the wedding day. Very gentlemanly of you. This dress is literally everything that he hates, so good line. All right, well, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. I'll be back shortly with another one, so stay tuned and make sure you subscribe. Bye.